What's up everybody, Damon here and in today's gaming news, a couple PlayStation Plus games for October have leaked, Red Dead Redemption 2 has been rated for Nintendo Switch, and the launch of Payday 3 has been a disaster. This is your Daily Fix. <laughs> The ever-reliable Bill Bill Coon of Deal Labs has leaked upcoming PlayStation Plus games, this time with a couple of headliners for the essential October lineup. According to Bill Bill Coon, two of the three headliners are The Callisto Protocol and Farming Simulator 22. The third game remains a mystery. The Callisto Protocol is the spiritual successor to sci-fi horror classic Dead Space. It's definitely a fitting game to join the service during the spooky Halloween season. I played it. It's okay. I think you'll enjoy it a lot more playing it on PS Plus instead of buying it. The Callisto Protocol has been in the headlines recently after developing for striking distance studios laid off 32 employees in what was described as a move to quote, realign the studio's priorities to better position its current and future projects for success. More recently, Glenn Schofield, who co-created Dead Space and directed the Callisto Protocol, left the company. Roughly a month after release, it was reported the Callisto Protocol failed to meet publisher craft and sales expectations. Now, Farming Simulator 22 is a couple years old now, but has a second big expansion due out in November, and it lets virtual farmers cultivate an agricultural empire in a brand new Central European map. Games in the essential tier of PS Plus usually arrive on the first Tuesday of the month, which would be next Tuesday the 3rd. So look for an official announcement from Sony soon. Moving on, Red Dead Redemption 2 may launch on Nintendo Switch if a ratings board is to be believed. Twitter user Necro Felipe pointed out the Red Dead Redemption 2 listing on the Brazilian government's website. The listing, which is still online as of this taping, mentions the Nintendo Switch under platforms alongside PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. It's unclear when this listing was updated to include Nintendo Switch, and Rockstar has yet to comment. If accurate, it means Rockstar's open world masterpiece is set for Nintendo's hybrid console. Of course, it's hard to imagine Red Dead Redemption 2 running natively on Switch, and we saw how Mortal Kombat 1 turned out. But given The Witcher 3, is available on the handheld, perhaps it's not such an outlandish thought. Alternatively, Rockstar may have a cloud version up its sleeve. Rockstar released a PS4 and Nintendo Switch port of the original Red Dead Redemption last month. It's a busy time for Red Dead Redemption 2 leaks. Last week's explosive Xbox leak revealed a Red Dead Redemption 2 next-gen update is apparently waiting in the wings. Should Red Dead Redemption 2 be officially announced for Switch? We'll share the news with you right here. And finally today, as Payday 3's matchmaking issues continue, its developer is looking into adding an offline mode. Payday 3 has suffered a disastrous launch, with severe online problems sparking a backlash from players. On Steam, the co-op heist shooter currently has a mostly negative user review rating. As of this taping, on September 26th, more people are playing the decade-old Payday 2 than Payday 3 on Valve's platform. As player complaints grew louder over the weekend, developer Starbreeze said on Twitter, quote, the team is looking at possibility to add some sort of offline mode. Yep maybe games should have an offline mode. So what went wrong here? In a note to press, Starbreeze pointed its finger squarely at its third-party matchmaking partner. Starbreeze's statement reads, Payday 3 matchmaking infrastructure has not performed as tested and expected. Matchmaking software encountered an unforeseen error, which made it unable to handle the massive influx of players. A new version of the matchmaking server software was gradually deployed across all regions, leading to improved performance. However, a software update made by the partner during late Sunday again introduced instability to the matchmaking infrastructure. Structure. The partner continues to work to improve and stabilize Payday 3's online systems. The issue in question did not manifest during technical betas or early access due to the specificity of rapid user influx and load balancing. Starbreeze is currently evaluating all options, both short and long term. In the short term, this means Starbreeze's focus is to ensure the player experience. In the long term, this means evaluating a new partner for matchmaking services and making Payday 3 less dependent on online services. The head of Starbreeze also issued a new statement, which reads, We are disappointed in the issues our player base has faced during our launch weekend, but we are confident in our core product and the quality of Payday 3, and all available metrics point to it. We have a lot of diligent and consistent work ahead of us to regain community trust, but we will work hard to do it. To that end, Starbreeze brought Payday 3 offline today, September 26, to improve server and matchmaking stability. Payday 3 will again go dark this Friday, September 29th, for another round of upgrades. And that is your daily fix for Tuesday, September 26th. Now that you're caught up on the news, check out the announcement trailer for Copycat, another game where you get to play as a cat. I'm Damon Hatfield, and for all your gaming news, stay tuned to IGN.